a friend of mine mentioned that he had recently done a recording using a Sony ECM MS957 microphone, a single point stereo microphone dating back to the mid 1990s. It uses the mid and side pattern shaping technique and is powered by a single 1.5 volt AA cell. This prompted me to unearth my own 957, which I'd not used for many years. I bought it for field recording in 1999 to replace my earlier Sony ECM 909. I was relieved to find that I had removed the battery since its last use, so its contacts were clean and the whole microphone was in working condition. One neat feature of this mic is the battery check function. To avoid wasting current on a permanent power indication, a capacitor is charged up while the power is switched off and discharges through the indicator LED, producing a brief flash when the switch is set to on. Quite an ingenious idea, but one that seems to have confused a lot of users, particularly those who have bought them second hand with no user manual. I wanted to see if this mic would work in my current setup, which requires balanced microphones. Fortunately, the service manual for the 957 has made its way out into the internet. And the first thing that shows up is that unlike the unbalanced only ECM909, the 957 uses output transformers, which give galvanic isolation and open up the possibility of balanced operation. The use of a 5-pin XLR connector is a bit of a giveaway, as an unbalanced design could get away with just three pins. Although the service manual has no schematic diagram, it does show the wiring of the output connector, and a bit of continuity testing with a multimeter confirmed that each channel pair is isolated from the chassis ground. This also means that the mic will tolerate phantom power, although it doesn't use it. The 957 turns out to be compatible with the conventional wiring scheme for two-channel balanced audio on a 5-pin XLR connector, as illustrated here, and which is the standard I have adopted for all my single-point stereo recording cables. In case you wonder how this seemingly odd pin-out came about, consider that a regular 3-pin XLR connector has pin 1 ground, pin 2 hot and pin 3 cold, and it's the same here, just with the repeat of pins 2 and 3 on pins 4 and 5. You just have to think numerically, not geometrically. Another point of note is that DMX, the digital lighting control interface, also uses 5-pin XLR connectors for two balanced signals. However, on those cables, hot and cold signals are swapped round compared to the audio arrangement. Why is this? Who knows? The original cable supplied with the microphone was wired so as to unbalance the output, making it suitable for use with the portable recorders of the day, typically cassette, mini disc or DAT, which commonly used a 3.5mm stereo jack socket for their external mic inputs. The only thing that can cause problems is the 5 volt so-called plug-in power provided on the unbalanced mic inputs of many small recorders. The 957 does not use this powering scheme, but the DC voltage can cause rustling if the 3.5mm jack is disturbed while recording. The original unbalanced cable was rather too short for my liking, so this is one I made up with a longer lead. You can see how the pins are wired here, with pins 1, 3 and 5 all commoned and grounded. Please excuse my rather crude soldering. So here is the Sony ECM MS957 in use on its unique tripod stand. Firstly using my old Sharp MT280E mini disc recorder which also amazingly still works. And then in a more up-to-date configuration with a Zoom F6 recording in 32-bit float format. Thanks for watching.